phase relations in pure resistor. When a sinusoidal voltage of certain magnitude is applied to the resistor, a certain amount of sine wave current passes through it. And we know the relation V of t equals to I of t into R. Now consider I of t equals to I of sine omega t, an imaginary part of I am e to the power of j omega t or else I am at an angle 0. Substituting this in the above equation, we are going to get V of t equals to I am sine omega t into r or else I am r sine omega t which equals to V m sine omega t where V m equals to I am r. This in imaginary terms, we can write imaginary of Vm e to the power of j omega t which equals to Vm at an angle 0. Now, this is our current equation and this is our voltage equation. If we draw that, we can say that in pure resistive circuit, both voltage V of t and current I of t or in phase impedance is defined as the ratio of voltage to the current function V m sin omega t divided by I m sin omega t. Now substitute this value I m by r divided by I m sin omega t divided by sin omega t which equals to r. Or simply this we can write V m at an angle 0 divided by I m at an angle 0. In pure resistive network, the impedance is nothing but the magnitude of the resistor. In case of pure inductor, when an inductor is connected to a AC voltage Vs, and the current flowing through it is I of T, and we know the relation V of T equals to L dI bar dt. Then we have that I of T equals to I am sin omega t or we can write this as imaginary part of e to the power of j omega t or i am at an angle of 0 degrees. V of t equals to L i am sin omega t d by dt it equals to L i am is constant that is maximum value. If you differentiate sin it cos omega differentiating with respect to t omega t need to be differentiated then you are going to get omega that implies omega l i m cos omega t this we can write v m cos can be replaced with sin omega t plus 90 degrees v of t equals to imaginary term of v m e to the power of j omega t plus 90 degrees or v m at 90 degrees this is our voltage term and this is our current term. If we draw that, from this we can say both V of t and I of t are out of phase are having the phase difference of 90 degrees. Current lags 90 degrees by voltage. From the definition, we can say the inductor does not allow the change in current instantaneously when there is a finite voltage, which means even the voltage is applied, the current is going to build in an inductor slowly or current is going to build after the voltage is applied or else simply you can say current is going to lag. Now the impedance, which is the ratio of exponential voltage to the corresponding current, that impedance Z equals to Vm sin omega t plus 90 degrees divided by Im sin omega t Vm 90 degrees divided by Im 0 degrees equals to Vm is nothing but omega L Im divided by Im at 90 degrees. The impedance Z equals to Xl J, J omega Xl equals to omega L is known as inductive reactance phase relation in case of a capacitor. If a capacitor C is connected to an AC supply, 
current I of T is going to flow. Then we have the current I of T equals to I m sin omega T that equals to imaginary part of I m to the power of A omega T that is equal to I m at an angle of 0 degree. We know that V of T equals to 1 by C integral I of T dt. Now substitute that I m sin omega T dt I m by C minus cos omega T divided by omega. This we can write I m divided by omega C cos in terms of sine sine omega t minus 90 degrees. This term is nothing but V m V m sine omega t minus 90 degrees. Imaginary part of V m e to the power of j omega t minus 90 degrees or V m at an angle of minus 90 degrees. This is our IT and VT is this one. Now let us try to draw. For a pure capacitor, the voltage and the currents are out of phase of 90 degrees where current is going to lead the voltage by 90 degrees. The impedance Z is given by the voltage that is Vm sin omega t minus 90 degrees divided by Im sin omega t. Vm is nothing but Im divided by omega c Im sin omega t in the denominator numerator is sin omega t minus 90 degrees. Z equals to 1 by omega c minus 90 degrees at an angle. That we can replace with minus j by omega c that equals to minus j x c where x c is the capacitive reactance and it is given by x equals to 1 by omega c.